Uh, Penta's lineup isn't bad, but I think they're on a bit of a timer. It's it's not an easy matchup for both sides, really, I don't think. And it's not never going to be a true 1v1 anyway because of these supports. Oh, yeah. Gint's supposed, Gint's to, come supposed down to come down to whether uh, you can land with Mystic Snakes. What? Oh, what? Uh, oh, yeah, up top, actually gets run down. This is why I wasn't too sure about this Enchantress matchup against the tiny Bomb Chanter. Right, so, so far, off to a good side up top. Mimo's on bottom though. They're gonna go on Fata. Try and get. Oh, <laughs> nice play, they're trying to get him away, but Sun will still connect. Fata, tanky enough at level 3 to withstand that. Also, has self to work with. All of that, unable to burst him down. And, well, at the very least, he's learning him out. And now, DNZ even making rotation. Gonna try again, slows from the early point up to the Lightning Storm, Burst Strike will connect, Oliver. Does he have a slow veil over here? He does indeed, they're committing, and they're gonna get this kill despite Yapsor rotating in. Not a whole lot that he can do. Mid lane? That's right. Mid, yeah, mid one. Yeah, he was across on the other side, so there's plenty of time for DNZ to rotate in. Arm in with the TP, does have the extra slow into the stun. Doesn't actually have the mana here with the... With the Mystic Snakes even some of it, but they're still down running him down regardless. Long DNZ will also not tank enough tower shots. Stick around, but ultimately it might as well mean just a lot of waste of time. DNZ is not getting anything off of this here, but it looks a bit... Especially now if mid one continues to the tower as he is right now. The wave for it is. Meanwhile up top, Boogie, gonna, gonna go on him again. Ace, single side, yeah. I think the saw him, he picks up a tree, slow down, avalanche, one cleave, the cast bouncing on this catapult. It's actually such a Easy. bad matchup for the enchantress. Oh, boogie. Is low boogie. Gonna, gonna go on in the game. The cast gonna bounce a little bit here to the stage group puppies there as well. It's one right click off, and another one extra few from mid one, but this time quite enough. It is though with the metal deck level three already. Boogie maintaining two, and they got the extra one there. We'll put a bit of a wrap around in case anyone def <laughs> case anyone defended the tier one, but. Didn't actually lead into anything with the entire defender's land being committed here. Now he absolutely with the ultimate boogie. boogie. He's, gonna so he's gonna die again, isn't he? With the Maledix? Well, are the heals enough? Very close indeed. Might need to right click this big one. Um, oh, not quite enough. That was a cute idea, though. It feels bad, man. Uh, yeah. Good idea. Um, bit too obvious from, from Penta. They telegraphed oh, this push and gang. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised the tanky Oliver, Oliver has to pop the, the infest bomb. They don't feel pressured. I think if they had felt pressured, maybe he goes for orb. That's a dead bomb tender, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wow, oh, wow. So a little, a little bit too deep here. <laughs> I was looking at the lasso here coming through. It was Batrider. Well, the final track is still want to kill Armin. Gets a few spells off, but we're still gonna fall into the burst. Oliver taking over. With Raiden's completed, gonna be running down Ace, Curse Strike to help. It's the kill that they were looking for, debated or something. I don't even know. Fata gets the TP, TP out. out. Really good words. I like this. These these words. And he they find, might he finds them. Epicenter being channeled up. All over to follow. Mid one. Does barely get enough one from Stone Gaze here with the magic wand, but it's not even gonna matter. That's not turning in anyone into stone in time. That's these two. He's feeling very confident, very safe with that ultimate, but yeah. Time. Uh, but at the same time, even forcing out the TP is already pretty good, you know, you, you force out the TP and then you pressure the tower and then you we'll go break Fata with the blink, the cast gonna, gonna bounce a little bit here and trying to drag them closer together, together. DNZ will get the burst strike off to cancel, you'll still take out to the Maledict eventually. Fata forcing it another dust, Boogie, tracked up, but... Nice defensive use of that particular item. Ace of Pops through the farm, but looks like Penta, they want to keep going, but Fada's the one finding the initiation on the Enchantress, starting to burn him down. The healing sprites, sure. Next out now, so the heals come in much faster, plenty of time for DNZ to come in. Fall up onto Fata here with our men, Oliver trying to take over, he's flying across, so Oliver cannot get enough right himself, now he takes the whole death ward. DNZ sitting there, in this. They will find Batra in the end, somehow. Ace just killed Fata. Ace just killed Fata by tossing him back onto the lifesaver. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a bit of miscommunication mm -hmm. there. Uh, unfortunate, but you know they still get what. Well, I certainly paid the price for it. At nine, nine, like I keep, I keep going back to this Queen of Pain, and, uh, and uh, I, keep I keep seeing him just inching, inching forward in terms of net worth. Even though he's not dying, he's not really getting too many kills either. Now he's dying for sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cassus Curse, just to say that DNC came in to try and help, does have life steal inside of him, turn this around onto the Bounty Hunter. And now, ideally they also get Fata as well, but he's pretty damn fast on his fate. I'll cancel Tranquil Boots to just make that a little bit easier, but... Not gonna be enough with Ace, just throwing in the Avalanche. 
Go to awareness also from Fata, immediately throwing that flame break, not to the Lysol, but to the Senking, to keep cancelling that blink. The only way he gets caught out there is if Senking has blink available again. Radiant structure. Tower will go down finally. Double catapult edict. A little bit of a tanked up. He's still coming in. Immediately burst on our man. DNZ with the burst right. A little bit too late now. Well, Oliver, he's still fighting, trying to bring down Yapso. Rage will wear up a little bit, and he has four stuff from the rest of his team to help out. And now Boogie. Well, five seconds napalm. Everson the back available. DNZ burst strike on two. They can't even turn us here. They bring down Fata. Can he get anything else? So Death Four and everything is still available for Secret. Another big burst, and all of a sudden it's only Oliver trying to heal himself up on a big old tanky 8 and 9. Finally coming in, help finish up that kill, all of a sudden it is secret for running out of options, for committing that stone gaze. Maybe overestimate, uh, underestimating Penta a little bit. Yeah, and figuring out the ways of the bounty hunter. You know, you spend time hunting this for a... That is, Blink Lasso onto DNZ. Bring down a big control factor immediately with extra combo from Ace. But not all of it. They want to trade. Ace, brought it down, has to fight into the death ward though. The stun just short here on the Avi Epsor. That means Penta have to turn around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, he's also pretty high level for support level 14 already. And that just means that his heal is so effective. So. Yeah. Uh, Penta, they're looking for more here, trying to build some extra momentum. They see Yapsor in there. Boogie can slow him down, but well, they'll see him on high ground. Puppy being in the middle of that cast will stop bouncing. Extra slows, couple right kicks on the Puppy. Do they have any protection for him? I not believe so. Oliver now has to play up against Bitmon as he comes into the fray. Nine! Actually got stones to the stone, now slowed down by the fresh Scotty. Gets the blink out only just. They've lost Boogie already. Our man's no down. Okay, that's like we've actually clips Poppy in the end. Nine with another blink out. Episode being channel as DNZ comes in with a burst strike. Focusing on the app are Much easier target. He's still trying to continue to catch on mid one. Ace looking for more though. Nine force to blink out again. Another burst strike. To maybe finish up against so Not quite though. Lifestealer. What? Our man doesn't have dust to work with. He sees Poppy. Oh, Korea. Be really careful with the shield. Down bottom at the same time though, all these supports battle up against each other. First strike here onto Fata, gets a lasso off and Lysil will still be clicked down by Boogie. TP through from Poppies comes in, they have to run away from that one though. One for one trade already, Oliver down to super low health, another rage, only in 5 seconds. And uh, well, Enchantress doesn't have that same luxury, Oliver. In fast, comes right back out, wants to get the kill on Poppy, alright. Now, can you continue to ex uh, retreat? The answer is no, Ace for the tr uh, triple kill after that extra blink. And, and this is not boarding well for Penta. We get into, we get that, into point that point where it's, it's, it's not even just Medusa. Look at Ace. Look at Ace. He has a Blink, Santin Yasha, Soul Kiras. He's, 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 he's sitting hard and, and not you're not him killing him either. Without, without casting all of them. I mean, I say that even though he has, what, 27 armor already? I'm going to try Infest Burst try Strike on to two. Found chance are not coming to target. They want to try and bring down Yapsa. This pesky, pesky Witch Doctor. They will be successful at the same time. They did lose our, uh, oh, Poppy. our man in the same spot. The ultimate coming through to finish up Poppy. Nine. Gets the secondary kill. Both supports down the drain. Papa. For trade though. Blink Lasso on to Dino. He's going to be bursted down if Ace comes back in. Mid one. Just yeah, the, uh, the, big the big wall that you cannot get across. Nine force to blink out. Boogie's blink to the right hand side. Can you get him here, Fata? Don't think slow down, another blink is just, just too late. late. Well, did have, did a, have toss, a toss, but no Avalon. Bottom, they can push out the other lanes. And they don't get anything. Or Penta don't get anything for it. This is DNZ. Gotta go, gotta go on him here. Life's still popping out. Poppy, come half health, but they... Do they have detection for him? Well, do they need it? That's the next question here. And yeah, they have the dust anyway. Although it finishes that kill, DNC is still alive, but now Yapso are coming into play. Mid one from the shrine. Oliver isolated from the rest of his team. Yapso will finish up our man solo, more or less. Now the wheels up. Oh, I see a boogie is there. Gets off the right kick away a little bit. Meanwhile, Nine is playing with his Witch Doctor, trying to burst him with the ultimate, with the Sonic Wave. Will be enough. Another infest here onto DNZ. Penta. Very good adhesive here. They get two kills, only trade for one. Lasso is down, and DNZ can go for Pata. Way too far forward here. He will fall as well. Oh, well, he heals up to buy himself a little bit more time. DNZ will be right kicked down as Midland comes in. But I don't think he can really catch up to these calls, even with his Guardi. He just, just expired three minutes until the next Roche may respawn. Oh, yeah. Look at this damage! Ouch! Yapsel snagging it. Like, <laughs> but damn, that was...
How much was that? 2,124 in like, what, two, three seconds? It felt like. I'm gonna try, Oliver. Walking in. Midpoint doesn't even care, look at this. Well, I'm just gonna get the tower and I'm gonna right click. Epicenter being channeled up from the high ground, so Oliver's gonna get some help. They get the ultimate off. Both of them with the stone falls us away. It's Mata might be in the target here. Second is oh, the reaction time. Quite get, Quite get it. Now, now. does some sinking. Yeah, no, nothing necessary. Getting completely outplayed there. This is, I mean, you pointed out earlier, how, how much time did they just waste for this one gank, right? They just. They, the Lysler sat inside the Sun King for two or three Boogie minutes. Force off back, but immediately force, force off forward from mid one to just stay in range. Oh, with this, I wouldn't be surprised if they either took Roche or just went high ground. Ah, uh, Roche is not up, so they can't have this in high ground. Actually, do they know that Roche is not up? This is helpful, yep, so we'll die, maybe. Oliver, come on. Stick has made one, one more right click necessary, but might Oliver's be dead being here, faster. Yep, so, oh, that was a much bigger kill. Get some blink out. Oh, mid one, though. So mobile here with the butterfly, face boots, four stuff. Our men caught on the outside as well. Penta is dropping one by one. And uh, oh, that's GG now with Ace in front, Medusa also doing a lot of... Uh, you do have all of you do have nine, but I'm not about you're about to not have all of anymore. Let me slow down despite the rage. Will expire two, ace with lockdown, nine gets a blink tap. No buyback on anyone. Uh, the creep coming in, a fresh tree and ace. Yeah, blink happy center barrel strike. You have the sonic wave. I don't think you try this. I think you need, you need those spells for a fight with the Lysler. Because you're not gonna kill anybody with that. Yeah, yeah you kill maybe the Bounce Hunter with it. Down for 80 seconds. seconds. They, they, Secret can, can easily go, go for Mega Creeps, creeps yeah. Okay, once once they like realize that Lysler doesn't have five five back. Yeah, yeah, force up forward, 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 forward Boogie. This time, this time not quite enough. Ace hey, though, you'll be able to finish that off. Now the hero down without buyback, the racks fall in the meantime. Can make a beeline straight for the bottom. That's exactly what they're doing. Without the agents, mid one feels like he is unstoppable, and I concur. There it is, they're gonna try, they have to. Force off away though from the epicenter. Oh, with the orchid, with the silence. Actually, gonna burst him down, so this is a good start. Ace, looking to try and take over. DKB on cooldown still though for a couple of seconds, so secret. Maybe a little bit too confident here, Penta. Make that work with the amount of burst somehow, but yeah. Not sure if that orchid was revealed earlier. I think that was what made the difference there. They could take, definitely take Roshan before Dusa comes back. It's coming through. He sees our man outside. Trying to try and burst him down. He's still alive though. Nature's attendance helping him out a little bit longer, but a big old tree still coming through. Boogie, look at his first damage. Now the lasso onto Oliver, keeping him away. So that's nine to do some damage. Finish, find Puppy. He also brought already brought down Yapso. So it's still a good fight for Penta. Just not looking good for Penta. Um, that's that really isn't 34k network advantage. Yeah. This is that one Roshan or this Roshan fight, if they had won that without the Dusa, maybe I think it looks much better. You know, if they win it without the Dusa, maybe you can get the Roshan. But so oh, no. He's gonna die here. Dinzi is there, the Blink Burst Sock and everybody, except mid one. Never mind. Both of them have buyback. Both, Both of them have it. That's the only reason they're this far out. But, yeah, I mean, but statistically, you don't, don't come back from this game with this advantage. Don't believe, I don't believe this has ever happened in Pro Dota. Ace it's coming through, going to burst down, down another one. There it is, Armin. Game that much of an impact in this particular fight. DT with a burst strike. Now, Ace already forced out Ether Cheese, that's good. But Oliver turned into Stony in the front lines for a little bit. Looking to try and focus on the support staff. Nine, also super super low. Couple of Napalm seconds. Gets the ultimate off, but no spell life still means he'll take out Oliver. Well, in the front lines, nothing else he can offer. GG, well played, it's called. And Team Secret, game one victory. Secret just the sort of more experienced team, I think. And you could definitely tell Penta took some a bit sloppy, maybe, maybe two hectic fights trying to force a couple of things.